orthodontic retainers are custom-made devices usually made from stainless steel wire and acrylic. Dr. Charles Hawley is credited with inventing the modern retainer back in the early 1900s. During typical orthodontic treatment, once teeth are moved, they have a tendency to shift back to their original position. So the Hawley retainer was invented to keep your teeth in place after your braces have been removed. After spending thousands on treatment and months in braces, your retainer will help keep your investment straight. New technology allows the orthodontist to scan a patient's teeth and palate. These digital 3D images are then sent to a lab for printing. A 3D printer builds dental models by stacking approximately 750 layers of material. This process takes about four and a half hours because each layer is about one third of the thickness of a sheet of copy paper. The printer uses two materials, a resin, which makes up the physical model, and a support material, which keeps the model from shifting during the printing process and also provides structural support for the resin. The support material is water soluble. Once the models are printed, they are soaked in water for 10 minutes and then the support material is removed using a special pressure washer. Starting with a tool called a turret, the technician bends a piece of stainless steel wire around the turret to create an arch form. The technician places the arch form, known as the labial bow, over the front of the model and marks where she is going to make an adjustment loop. Using single beak pliers, she clamps the wire where the mark was made and makes a 90 degree bend. She then uses a loop forming plier to form the rest of the adjustment loop. The technician then forms the rest of the labial bow around the model and creates an adjustment loop on the opposite side of the model. Wires are crossed over behind the cuspids to extend into the patient's palate. Once the crossovers have been contoured, she clips the excess wire using a wire cutter. The labial bow is placed back on the model and the technician makes 90 degree bends in the end of the wire using a triple beak plier, which will keep the wire held in the acrylic. She does a quick inspection of the wire to make sure the labial bow is straight and that the adjustment loops are symmetrical. If the wire is satisfactory, the labial bow is then adhered to the model using yellow sticky wax. She puts the melted wax over both adjustment loops, which will hold the labial bow in place when the acrylic is added. A key component to retainers is retention. Clasping is added to the retainer to keep the appliance in place when it is worn. A set of ball clasps are added to the front of the molar and contoured to the inner proximal space between the teeth and into the palate using a single beak pliers. Once completed, the technician will keep the clasps in place using sticky wax. With the wires firmly in place, the model is now ready to pour acrylic. Orthodontic acrylics come in all sorts of colors. The acrylic consists of a powdered polymer and liquid monomer that react when mixed and will harden in about 20 minutes. The technician first puts down a layer of polymer and makes sure it flows underneath the wire framework. Then she takes the liquid monomer and adds it to the polymer. She will continue to pour about three layers of material all around the palate until she has built up an overall thickness of about three millimeters. Excess material is scraped off with a knife to form a straight edge at the rear of the pallet. She places the finished model in a heated pressure cooker. The pot is pressurized to about 20 pounds per square inch and the model will cure for about 10 minutes. The pressure will remove any air bubbles in the acrylic as well as help speed up the curing process. After the appliance is done curing, a technician removes the sticky wax from the wires using a steam gun. Using a knife, she gently pries the fully formed retainer off of the model. Using a porous grinding wheel, 
she rough trims the acrylic by trimming the excess acrylic away from the front and rear of the retainer, as well as refines the shape to the patient's palette. Using a hand tool, the technician smooths out the entire surface of the retainer so that the acrylic won't irritate the patient's mouth. Using a bristle brush, she carefully removes the excess material away from the wires, which are now embedded in the acrylic. If areas are too bulky, she grinds them using a carbide burr to reduce them to a thickness of about 2 millimeters. She then checks the fit and thickness of the retainer to the dental model. The next step is to smooth out the acrylic using a powdered abrasive known as pumice in conjunction with a muslin rag wheel. Water is added to the pumice to make a paste. He adds pumice to the retainer and runs the surface of the acrylic under the rag wheel until the surface is smooth and glossy. He adds a greaseless polishing compound to another muslin rag wheel and polishes the acrylic to a high shine. The retainer is dropped into a mild acid in an ultrasonic cleaning machine for about 10 minutes. The ultrasonic waves in conjunction with the solution will help remove any pumice and polish residue. The retainer is removed from the solution and rinsed with water and dried. A QC technician inspects the finished retainer to ensure the proper wire size was used. The retainer is visually inspected and checked to ensure it fits properly with the model. If all is satisfactory, it is placed in a carrying case and shipped to the orthodontist.